hey guys welcome back in this video we'll see how to create a snack bar snack bar is used to show a temporary message to the user so it basically slides in from the bottom so now let's create a view and add two texts and these are this is the message which we're going to show the user and this will also contain another text called action text and it could be undo delete or save for instance and now let's style the container of the snack bar so i'll give a background color as black you can give any other color but this is the standard the, the standard color is to put black or gray and you can refer the guidelines for more details now let's see how it looks okay before that uh, we want the both the text to be placed one next to each other so the flex direction is row now let's color the text let's put white color to the message and let's have a font size of 16 let's have a font weight uh, maybe bold should be enough let's give a similar style to action text as well let's change only the color and this text will have a padding left of 24 so I have already referred the guidelines in the Google web page uh, we don't have text let's import the text mm, okay okay it's stretching column wise it's because of doing flex so before i fix it let's position this view in the bottom of the screen so i'll use absolute positioning and i'll give bottom as zero so this will position our view in the bottom of the screen let's see how it looks okay now we want that view to stretch and occupy the entire width so for doing that let's just give some padding to this view it's 24 and padding vertical is 14 okay that looks fine now let's make this view occupy the entire width so what i'll do is i will go and fetch the dimension of the width of the window and then i'll pass that width as a parameter to the view container of the snack bar and that should make the view to occupy stretch or occupy the whole screen width wise cool now you have seen the texts are placed one next to each other but we want the message to stretch and occupy the entire available space so flex will do that seems like we don't need width also and let's remove flex equal to one as well for the view container okay it still looks good so i think this should be a good way to do it now let's so since i'm creating a single line snack bar i'll restrict the number of lines to one so i'm passing a prop to the text component called number of lines okay it seems it's fine now let's animate the view component so what i'll do is i'll call a function when the component is mounted and the function in that function we basically define how this view will be animated from the bottom and up 
like it should slide from the bottom so now let's define this function toggle bar so to animate the view we need the animated variable so let's create and I've given the name as animated itself so the animated variable can be created like this so now let's put animated it's not SVG okay so we have created our animated variable so I've imported animated so now I'll create the animation animated dot timing and now I'll pass that variable and I'll give the configuration so the animation will happen so two value will be one so the initial value is zero so I'm, for now let's just put two, two value as one and let's put duration as 500 milliseconds you can try the higher values but I have found this uh, value to work considerably better so now let's apply that animation which we have created so I'll pass this to translate y so this dot state dot animated dot interpolate here I'll just pass uh, input range and output range which actually does the mapping so if you have watched my previous video you would know how this works but for now uh, you can just follow which you should get it as we proceed so this will not make any changes but this is just to check whether everything is working fine we have got an error um, what that could be um, I think I figured the issue I think it's because we are applying the animation for a normal view should be instead the animated view so let's change it to animated dot view and now let's check whether it fixed our issue okay that fixed our issue but you don't see any animation so what's going wrong that's because we have our input range and output range is not not having the proper value um, we need to put 100 here which will make of a snap bar to slide from the bottom right so that's working so now once the snack bar is shown we have to hide the snack bar after some duration so to do that we need a state so let's create the state and then we'll access it to determine and toggle the state whenever the snack bar is shown and hide it after something so let's declare the variable and let's keep the name as shown and the default value as false so it means our snack bar is hidden when, once the component is mounted and we have taken the not when the toggle bar is invoked and we will check for the, the state value and if it is true it's one if it is false it's zero which means it goes back to its original position so we still don't see a view going or hiding as we want that's because we have not called the height function yet so we have to call and tell to hide this view so how we're going to do it is once the animation completes we'll get a callback here so here I'll check for the state and if the state is true that means show that means we should hide it otherwise we don't have to do anything so once we call this function called hide bar in the hide bar all I have to do is set a timer which I'll do using set timeout which takes a function as a parameter and the duration 
for the timer so the function we have to call is toggle bar so after some time we'll call the toggle bar again which will toggle the state and hide the view so now let's see what happens after four seconds so we have an error and that's happening because of we're not passing the function properly to the set timeout so we'll let's see well this fixes the problem refresh okay we still have an issue so let's pass let's call the function like this and see whether this fixes the error I am trying to deliberately make this mistake so that you will know what happens when you don't pass the function properly and still we don't see any animation that's because we haven't set the state after changing the value so once we determine the new state value we have to change our state value which is shown so now the shown will be true for when the first time when it gets called and once it's true it will hide bar will get called and it, after some time it will hide the view so we are getting what we want so the stack bar is working as expected now let's make it a reusable component instead of hard coding it so what i'll do is i'll copy this code and i will go and create a new file in my components folder and let's name it as snack bar i'll paste my code let's remove all unnecessary code here we don't need container style I'll also remove the container view and let's remove the unused imports and let's rename this class and now let's go back to our index file let's remove this code and let's invoke the snack bar so i've declared it so let's import the snack bar from our components now we should not be having any change okay so we are having the same result and now let's remove this unused code let's remove the state as well so we got our snack bar let's pass the props which are message and action text and we'll use this prop in our snack bar to show the message whatever is passed from here so the action text is usually in capitals uppercase but instead of sending the capital letters let's let's make sure it's shown capital inside of our component so let's pass a small letter here in lower case and here we'll make sure the text will be shown as uppercase so i'll access my props message and action text this dot props and I'll just place them in the place of message and here I'll just convert the text to uppercase no matter what is passed so now let's just check whether this is working we got an error seems like uh, I have a wrong function 
okay that's because of the case so all oh, right so we got our snack bar with whatever the message and the action text which is sent so now let's just check whether the snack bar is a single line like we want uh, let's add some more text okay seems like it's not single line yet so i think we have to check our props in the snack bar component okay i have sending a wrong prop here so it should be number of lines or should be capital let's check whether that fixed the issue all right so that fixed the issue so we got a single line snack bar so now let's add one more feature to this snack bar we want an action to be performed when the user clicks on the action text so here delete so when user clicks on delete we want some actions to be performed so for that i'll send a prop and in our action bar we'll access that prop and give a callback using which we can perform any action so i'll name the prop as on action press and for the tutorial purpose all i'll do is i'll call an alert function so on clicking the delete text we should we will just show the alert dialog so here i'll send on press prop on clicking this text component we'll get a callback and and here i'll check for the prop whether on action press is sent or not and if it is sent i'll just invoke that function so now let's check that okay can't find variable damage okay let's remove this this is not required right so we finished our snack bar guys i guess we learned something new and snack bar was very easy to create and i hope you have enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up if you have liked the video and if you want to see more of these kind of tutorials thank you until next time have fun coding and thanks for watching